Hundreds of California stores are simply closing for a combination of massive business tax levies, minimum wage hikes, but of course, the crime rate is so incredibly high. There's a bunch of businesses that are announcing full or partial closure of their stores in California due to crime rising. There is constant theft, property damage, robberies, car break-ins, and threats to employees and customers. Guys, even the customer and the diner is not safe due to the fact that sometimes thieves rob the customer as well. Now, the biggest thing about these businesses is you're constantly being robbed. So when businesses get robbed and looted and ransacked on the constant, insurance premiums for small business owners is rising. In fact, in some cases, some business owners are dropped by their insurance companies altogether. Now, look at this, guys. Taco Bell was the latest company to announce a massive increase in crime. Four indoor dining options have now closed. So in Oakland, California, basically every single Taco Bell, you could only get it drive through. Okay, limiting indoor service to payment only and maybe DoorDashers. But other than that, you're going to have to go through a drive through That's how scary it's being. I'm sure these Taco Bells are constantly being robbed, always being targeted by criminals. And I'm sure they probably call the cops like a hundred times at this point. And it's not an exaggeration. Some of these stores have filed reports with the police hundreds of times, but nobody really gets prosecuted. The thing about California and cities there is you could commit all sorts of crimes, shoplifting, robberies, and the chances of being caught is like less than 1%. And I'm not even exaggerating. Now, another reason why is the cops are very short-handed. They're short-staffed. They don't have enough personnel. They're overworked. Another thing is the policies make them where they can't really do much. Even In-N-Out is closing their Oakland store because customers and their employees are regularly black victimized by car break-ins. Even the freaking Denny's closed. That's how bad it's getting. A family-owned South Beach Market is closing after 35 years in business. And the co-owners said that cost and crime were the driving factors. Our family business is going down the tubes because the idiots in City Hall can't protect us. And that's kind of well said. Like, you're paying super high San Francisco, California taxes. And the streets still look like some third world country. The guys have been here for nearly four decades. That's a very long time. And because the crime rate is so high, they're leaving. And the biggest mall in San Francisco left. Twitter left. Some of the biggest tech companies have left. You would think maybe these are all huge wake-up calls. But it's actually wild to see San Francisco, for example, not caring. You know, you just lost a third of your tourism industry and you're still not changing anything says a lot about the city and how they operate. They could lose every single big company in business and they still wouldn't change. And that's why a lot of businesses are closing down. And also you got really weird policies like the $20 minimum wage for fast food, which literally is shutting down dozens and dozens of really powerful chains like Shake Shack, closing six California locations after the $20 minimum wage hike. Can California get its act together? Because $20 minimum wage is such a huge increase from $15.50. It's a massive hike in less than 12 months. And you kind of see why they're suddenly closing down. And they also have Chinatown, for example. Look at this. This jewelry store literally has like a jail cage. When customers walk in, there's like a massive iron cage. Because they've probably been robbed several times. Crime is existing and it's thriving in California. Businesses are scared and people are afraid to come out. And the cops can't really seem to do anything. And when store owners have to resort to jail sales just so they don't get robbed, shows you how bad a situation is getting. And also, you got tech guys, you got workers, employees moving to San Francisco say this place is like something totally different. I mean, the biggest tech city in the world looks like some third world country. In fact, people say not even third world countries got drug addicts opening doing fentanyl. This is a San Francisco classic. And they really need to get things around to get things together. I mean, they're taxing businesses like crazy and generating billions of dollars. And they still can't seem to solve any of these problems. The dude said it's been here for six months and still not used to this. It's absolutely appalling. Look at some of these pictures. 
This is just the tip of the iceberg. It gets really bad. and Many people are homeless, sprawled out on drugs on the San Francisco streets, and go across the bridge to Oakland's bad. L.A., have you ever been to the downtown? It's even worse. 